Hello, I am Dr. Sengo Tuvelu, Interventional Cardiologist at Apollo Hospitals, Maine, Chennai, India. Today, I will be talking about coronary artery disease or CAD, which is the most common heart disease in the world. So what is CAD, coronary artery disease? So basically, the heart has three blood vessels. Those blood vessels are called coronary arteries. On the left, you have two major coronary arteries called left coronary artery. On the right, you have another coronary artery called as right coronary artery. So if the coronary artery are diseased, then we call it as coronary artery disease. What are the coronary arteries? Coronary arteries are arteries which are blood vessels which supply the heart muscle. So just like any other muscle, the heart muscle needs blood supply. So the blood supply comes from arteries. So the coronary arteries supply blood to the heart blood vessels. So coronary arteries, as I told you, is on the left side we have two major branches and the right side we have one branch. So we call the left coronary artery and the right coronary artery. What happens to arteries in coronary artery disease? Coronary arteries usually are very healthy blood like other blood vessels but they are prone to developing blocks in patients who are or people with higher genetic as well as risks related to lifestyle and other factors. Once these blocks form or what we call as block buildup, slow development of blocks within these blood vessels which supply the heart muscle namely the coronary arteries happen gradually over time depending upon the risk of the individual. Once the block starts building up, it can give rise to slow progression and occlusion of the blood vessel causing a heart attack or sometimes the block buildup can be so gradual and cause a sudden heart attack sometimes related to a clot which forms within the blood vessel. Who gets coronary artery disease? So coronary artery disease is quite a common disease which affects a lot of uh, even younger to elderly population, more common in elderly population. So there are certain risk factors which increase the risk of coronary artery disease or block buildup within the blood vessels. One of the most common reason is the genetic factors, which means if your father or mother or grandparents have coronary artery disease, the risk of a person developing coronary artery disease is much higher. It is a multifactorial disease, which means there is no single cause for arteries to develop these blocks. So not only genetic, there are many other factors which can be related to our environment, your lifestyle, your presence of diabetes, which also increases the block formation, presence of high blood pressure, and also the person's lifestyle like lack of exercise or involving a high stress job, or person who doesn't have good sleep and, and relates, which relates to increased uh, stress uh, and, and leading to excess bad hormones which can lead to excessive block formation. What are the symptoms of CAD or coronary artery disease? So coronary artery disease can be asymptomatic without any symptoms for many of us. So symptoms only start when the blockages or block buildup in the coronary artery disease is extensive leading to narrowing and reduction of blood supply. Once the blood supplies are reduced and heart muscles receive less blood flow, some people start developing symptoms. The common symptoms are what is known as angina or chest discomfort or sometimes a mild chest pain which happens usually during exertion or any form of walking or exercise which is usually central in chest, can be in the upper part of the abdomen or sometimes can radiate to upper jaw or backs of the person or it can be sometimes with the left arm or left hand. This is typical. Sometimes they can have atypical form of angina where they can have a milder discomfort or even breathlessness or difficulty in breathing which can all be related to coronary artery disease. How is coronary artery disease diagnosed? So usually when the high risk persons who have, for example, have a very strong family history of coronary artery disease, a father or mother in their family or grandfather or cousins had a heart attack, those people are supposed to be at a higher risk 
and even when they are asymptomatic should undergo tests so that they can be identified with the coronary artery disease can be detected early and treatment started. Whereas patients who have already started developing symptoms should be subjected to tests. The most common test what we do is simple tests like electrocardiogram or ECG or echocardiogram or echo where we can see the heart function and the heart movement and the, and the wall motion and the heart function. Other tests which we can do is a simple stress test or a treadmill where we make them walk on a, uh, on a treadmill and do an ECG. There are many other tests like uh, a stress echo or a stress uh, nuclear imaging uh, or which is more sensitive and, and, and find we also have a CT coronary angiogram where we can identify blocks early even in an asymptomatic state or the gold standard is a coronary angiogram uh, which is basically to inject dye into the heart blood vessels and identify blockage which, is, uh, which will be clearly seen if there are any blocks. So early stage of coronary artery disease is usually treated with medications and risk factor control. For example, we also start blood thinners and control of diabetes and high blood pressure medication and we also give cholesterol medication what we commonly use as statin which all help in reducing the progression of early coronary artery disease. So what are the complications of coronary artery disease? Complications of coronary disease can vary from a heart attack to muscle damage to heart failure and also in severe cases can lead to heart rupture and leading to uh, mortality. The most common, uh, another important complication is what we call as arrhythmias or abnormal heartbeats which are basically uh, triggered by the sudden reduction of blood flow in the heart, during the heart attack which can cause the heart contractions to come down leading to sudden cardiac event. Can coronary artery disease be prevented? Yes, it's very, very important to know that in majority of the patients, coronary artery disease can be prevented if the preventive measures are ensured very early in life. Coronary artery disease is a disease process which can even start early in life, for example, in 20s and 30s. And hence, prevention should start early in life. What is acute coronary syndrome? So, Acute coronary syndrome is an important entity. Again, it is related to coronary artery disease. When the coronary artery disease happens, the blocks or the buildup can sometimes be unstable. Which by me, what I mean is the, the block or the blocks can be vulnerable and cause a rupture or clot formation within the blood vessel. So when the blocks which are stable are there present for a long time without causing any symptoms but when the blocks become unstable it can be lead to it can lead to a heart attack or acute coronary syndrome how is angina different from a heart attack angina is a chest discomfort which is usually happens in the center of the chest which can be relate, uh, radiating to the hand or the upper uh, upper uh, jaw or to the lower abdomen or to the back so this angina is a symptom when the heart blockages are narrow which is not totally occluded but has a significant narrowing and hence the in, uh, not enough blood supply is able to reach the myocardium or the heart muscle. So when the heart muscle is deficient of blood supply then you get something called angina. So for example it is uh, for a person who has is able to walk certain uh, distance and then develops a chest discomfort and stops for some time and then the pain is relieved and he starts walking again. This is how a typical angina is described. I hope I have answered all your queries and questions related to coronary artery disease. Look forward for more interactions in the future. Thank you. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay informed. So anything in doubt, any discomfort, consult your doctor at the earliest.